Hey, what's up guys? Rep here. Uh, I want to do another quick little uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, multiplayer how-to slash help video to uh, follow up with the other ones that I've been doing. Uh, I've received plenty of uh, comments and private messages and uh, heard for, from some people on Twitch also that a lot of people are having uh, an issue locating their Euro Truck file, which the multiplayer mod needs. Uh, when you set it up, it needs the uh, the location of it so that you can launch it properly. So I want to do a quick video, show you a couple of different ways how to do that. Uh, one way to do it is right through Steam. Just go in your library and uh, click on your right click on your main Euro Truck Simulator 2 game. Go down to Properties and the local files tab and just click browse local files now you'll notice uh, there's two folders here and a bunch of SCS files there's no exe file this isn't necessarily going to put you exactly where you need to be uh, but it's going to get you really close uh, in this case under bin and win86 bang right there is zero trucks 2.exe that's the file it's looking for that's what launches the game and that's what the multiplayer mod needs <clears throat> excuse me so that's one way to do it um, another important thing is uh, when you're here tools and go to your folder options and view also make sure by default right here where it says hidden files and folders it'll be set don't show hidden files folders or drives that's the default setting Make sure you change that. That's one of the first things I do anytime I even install Windows. Make sure it's set to show hidden files, folders, and drives. Uh, being that Eurotruck is going to be most likely buried in your program file somewhere, it's going to most likely hide it. So that's important. Make sure that's set. Click Apply and OK. Uh, a lot of people were saying uh, that should help with that issue. They were also saying they're having problems in general finding Eurotrucks2.exe from a Windows search. They can't seem to find it on their computer. It's there somewhere because otherwise you can't launch the game. It's got to be there somewhere. So uh, one easy way to do that would be just uh, go to your program files folder. Like uh, in my case, I have two. I have x86, which is my uh, 32-bit applications and then there's just regular program files which is your 64-bit stuff uh, depending on your system if you have a 64-bit operating system or not you might not have both of them so uh, if you do search right in this folder search for eurotrucks2.exe and bang there it is right there immediately uh, it'll speed up the time. It's in your. It's more than likely in your program file somewhere. So, if you do that, it only has, you know, so much to check instead of your entire hard drive. It should find it a lot faster. And, uh, you know, if you have, uh, like I said, if you have a 64-bit operating system like this is, check in your x86 folder because it's a 32-bit game. If you don't, you should only have a regular program files folder without the x86 at the end. So just search in that and it should pop right up for you guys so uh, hopefully you guys find that helpful I know that's been uh, a problem that I've seen since my last video and I wanted to uh, put another follow-up out about it because a lot of people were uh, having problems locating the uh, folder that contains it and you'll see here you can just uh, click properties and uh, right here location Program files, Steam, Steam, Steam apps, common, Eurotruck, bin, Win86, which, which was the uh, folder I just showed you guys. So you can always just uh, copy this and paste it into uh, the command line if you're having trouble with that. So that's about it. Just wanted to throw a look, quick little video up there, see if it'll help some of you guys uh, locate your, uh, your Eurotruck Sim 2 folder if you can't. Or if for whatever reason it's not pulling up the uh, the proper folder on its own. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thank you for 
all the support as always thank you for clicking that like button it helps me it helps the channel and uh, <clears throat> there will be uh, more videos to come like I mentioned I hope to uh, get some more I've been on twitch a lot but uh, I hope to do some some more gaming videos here on YouTube over the summer while it's a little slower at work and uh, of course there's going to be more bowling and work slash machine related stuff as well so thanks again guys for everything and I'll see you soon